to Friendly Cosmos Cooking Channel. So today we are going to make stir fried tofu with mushrooms. So this is non-spicy food and the sauce will be based on the soy sauce. So even the kids or the adults, anyone can enjoy this food. So as you can see all the ingredients here, this is really simple. So even tongsa. Do you know what Dongsun is in Korean? Dongsun is the person who got all thumbs. So even Dongsun can make this food. This is really simple but very delicious. So shall we do that? So for the ingredients, we need to prepare tubu. Tubu is tofu in Korean. So one tubu soy sauce, rice syrup, cooking wine, minced garlic, starch, fine ground pepper, chilies. I got some spicy chilies with me, but for you only if you want to make the color pretty, then got a non-spicy chilies. I prepared the shiitake mushrooms, but if you don't have shiitake mushrooms, you can have pine mushrooms or any other type of mushroom is okay? So please go ahead. First thing what we need to prepare, you need to have some paper towel because we need to dry the tofu. Put your tofu on top of the paper towel like this, gently press. And then now we're gonna cut tofu. So how you can cut, it can be the bite size. For me, I think I'm gonna just cut two centimeters square shape. Okay, just cut tofu. And then get another paper towel. So on a new paper towel, put tofu on top of it. Just get a pinch of storage. Put it all over, just a little amount. Not much, but just a little. And then put two feet on the side. So the next, I'm gonna cut mushrooms. I'll just cut in half. And I'll just cut the other. Cut it in this way. I wanna keep my mushroom a big size like this. It's because mushroom shrinks when they're fried. So just cut the other mushrooms the same way. And now we gotta cut the chilies. So how you can do is just cut in a cross shape. Try to remove the seeds inside. Like this. Or just simply shake it. We just get chopped in a small piece. On a plate. So, and now with this corn powder, I'm just gonna pour water, but just a little. Later, when we stir fry the tofu in a soy sauce, then we're gonna add this starch water. So, this is ready. So, for the tofu, now we need to get a new paper towel and just cover it. And just press gently one more time. Just chew. Dry it. So here on a frying pan, I'm just gonna put oil. You can put enough oil onto the pan. Then we're gonna put the tofu. It's not really frying, but it's like a half frying. You need to fry the tofu until golden and crisp. If you put the heat high, it's gonna burn just to medium heat. It will take some time. I know it's gonna be boring just looking at the tofu. So just imagine yourself having delicious tofu dish later. That'll be nice. After some time, you need to turn it over. So not only one side, every side should have the same color as golden brown. All sides are nicely fried. You can see all the golden brown color here. So this is good condition now. So now what we're going to do next, so by using the sieve, we're gonna cool down the tofu. So how we can do, just put in put all the tofu is here. The coloring looks so nice. So put the tofu in the sieve and just cool it down a bit while we are preparing the other things. The reason that we are using sieve is because even when we are cooling down the tofu, the water can come out from it so we can get rid of that moisture. So with the same pan here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add just a little more oil. And then I'm gonna add the garlic. So for the garlic, we will just cook it. So 
we need to stir now, otherwise it's gonna burn. We can cook it for 10 seconds. And after that, we're gonna add soy sauce. So pour the soy sauce and mix with the garlic. After that, you can add rice syrup and also we can put cooking wine. So put three ingredients all together and now you're gonna put the heat medium low and boil it. So let's wait a bit. What we can do, we can add coffee right now. Then we can just stir fry it a bit. The soy sauce and seasoning can be soaked in coffee, so that will be delicious. So after stir fry for three to four minutes, you can add the mushrooms. Put the mushrooms here and mix well. When you stir fry the mushroom, also the water can come out from the mushroom itself. So how we can do, we can quickly add the starch water. So just put two spoons of starch water. One and two. And mix. You can add up the chilies. And now you need to reduce the heat to low. And also another thing, you can put some ground pepper. So just add a little and mix well. It's so good. So this is it. Now turn the heat off. And as a last resort, what we can do, we can put one spoon of sesame oil. That makes tofu stir fry tofu more delicious. So you just get a one spoon, get some oil, and put it all over and mix. This is it. How does it really look so yummy though? So cooking is over. It's so easy and simple today, wasn't it? Let me just put on a plate nicely. We can add some sesame seeds. That is the final decoration of the Korean food. Let's just add a little. And it looks so yummy. I'll show you closely. How does this food look? It looks so yummy, isn't it? So I want to try the tofu and also the mushroom. It should be so nice. I'll just get our tofu first. Mushrooms. Mm. I saw, I saw. The tofu, this is exactly koppa sokchok. You know, in Korean, koppa sokchok, it's a crispy outside, soft inside. That is what koppa sokchok means. This is exactly koppa sokchok, right? And tofu, so good. In a short time, you can make this kind of delicious food. This is so nice. You must try it. So I hope that you enjoyed my cooking channel today also. And if you liked it, please just subscribe to my channel and press the like button for me. And I really hope to see you next time as well. So thank you for watching and see you next time. So much, Naya!